Hi, this is Teal from Pucklebox.com. Dell has lent me another laptop for review. This is the Dell XPS 15. A few months ago, I reviewed the Dell Precision Workstation laptop, the 5000 series, and the design is actually very similar to this Dell XPS 15. Today's video is going to be a first impression video because I only received this laptop a few hours ago. I have installed some graphic software on it played around for a while and so far so good performance is quite snappy let's talk about the specifications first um, this particular model that I have comes with a quad core 2.6 gigahertz processor 16 gigs of RAM 256 gigs of storage however after you format it it's left with 248 gigs and after you install Windows 10, um, it drops down to 225 gigs thereabouts. So um, that's something to note. Um, it comes with a few ports, uh, two USB 3 ports, our HDMI port, a Thunderbolt 3 port that comes in the shape of a USB Type-C. There's this headphone jack here. And let's see on the other side, there is the SD card reader. And the weight of this laptop is around, I say, um, two kg, if I'm not wrong. Let's take a look at the screen. Oops. This is the screen. Let me try and on this. All right. So this is the screen. This is a 4K screen, and it's glossy. Um, there is also another option for the 1080p resolution screen, which is matte. Personally, I prefer the matte screen because I don't like the reflection of this screen. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the 4K resolution. Now, if you are using older software, for example, Adobe CS5 or CS6, they are actually not updated to take advantage of 4K resolution and as a result, their user interface is very small. Things like the menus, the buttons, the control panels, um, those are all very small and it's very frustrating to use, at least personally for me. So um, when it comes down to choosing between 1080p or a 4K resolution screen, um, Take a look at what software you're using, do some research on whether or not they have been updated to take advantage of the high resolution of 4K. It's quite important because if you were to buy um, 4K resolution and you're using old software, um, you might have to spend extra money to upgrade your old software, so um, that's extra cost. And yeah, I think that's all I want to say about the specifications. The build quality is quite good. Metal exterior, the rubber, the long, long strips of rubber at the bottom. This is very nice. The grills, um, there's this little flap here that hides the serial number that is behind. The speakers are at the bottom here. All right, now I'm going to talk about the Dell XPS versus Dell Precision. The design of the laptop, they are almost identical, at least to me. Now, there are some differences though. Uh, first difference is the graphics card for the Dell XPS 15. It runs on the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960M. And for the Precision, it runs the Quadro M1000M. So um, that is one difference. Personally for me right now, I cannot tell the difference between the performance of these two graphics card. Now the other difference is quite big is uh, when it comes to customizable options, uh, the Dell Precision Workstation laptop has a lot of customizable option. For example, you can customize the screen, you can customize the RAM, the storage, and when it comes to the storage, they give you options for SSD versus the flash storage versus um, different types of storage and or combination of storage. For the XPS, you can only choose um, choose one storage, but for the Precision, you can actually choose up to two storage. For Precision, you can also get um, to choose the battery, you can choose the graphics card, you can choose the processor. Um, you can really customize a lot. 
uh, when it comes to XPS, the options are much more limited. If you go to Dell's website, you will see that they have um, several uh, pre-configured options. So you can only choose from those pre-configured options. But for Dell XPS, I'm sorry, for Dell Precision, you can customize it whatever in whatever way you want. So uh, I think that is one big advantage of the Precision laptop. Um, oh, another thing that I want to talk about is uh, where you can buy this. For Dell XPS, you can buy it from their website. It's very easy. You just choose the model, type in your credit card number, and they will send it to you. But not so for the Dell Precision on some websites, especially, for example, on Dell Singapore's website, you cannot just buy the Precision from their website. You need to contact Dell to let them know what specifications you want. Uh, before you can purchase it. So uh, that's the extra step. You cannot buy it uh, instantly. You have to actually contact someone from Dell. So uh, that's, the, that's why um, it's very difficult to buy Dell Precision laptops in Singapore. Yeah, I think that's all I would, that I'm going to cover today for the first impression video. Now I will be reviewing this laptop in full detail and the uh, text and video review will come out in two to three weeks time. I will be bringing this laptop to the Urban Sketches Symposium. I will be doing video editing. I will be pushing this laptop as hard as I can to see just how powerful it is. Now the review will come from the perspective of someone who uses this laptop for photo editing, for video editing, for graphic design, and for 3D work. So I'm just going to test out all the different uh, graphic software. Yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I will try and answer them if I have answers to them. If not, stay tuned for the full review that will be coming out in a few weeks time. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.